Eber's class? 5.3, multiply mixed numbers. Can you multiply mixed numbers? Yes. What are the numbers or what are those things that help us reduce fractions called? Factors. Factors. Hey, another question. Can you calculate with a mixed number? No. Can you calculate with an improper fraction? Yes. Okay, now let's switch modes here. Your answer. Can your answer be an improper fraction? No. Can your answer, does your answer have to be a mixed number? Yes. Mixed number or a whole number, I guess, or just a simple basic fraction. I'm going to skip around the world. Okay, here we go. On the count of three, I wanted you guys to read this one with me. On the count of three, we're going to read note five. One, two, three. Okay, let's maybe try to stay together. But we always must convert mixed numbers to improper fractions to calculate. All right, when we're solving fractions, we multiply the what by the what first. And then you multiply the what by the what second. And it says right here on the count of three, we're going to read number seven. One, two, three. So think about an angry parent telling you, don't you dare even think about whatever it is they're telling you. But in this case, finding common denominators when multiplying fractions. Uh, for number eight, all looks good. We just multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. For number nine, what did we do before we calculated? Simplified, right? We simplified. Simplified? That's not simplify. What is that? We converted to a... So around the world would be another way of saying it. But we didn't reduce anything. We converted to a mixed number. Um, same thing for... I'm sorry. We converted to an improper fraction. Now you got me all messed up. We converted to an improper fraction, right? How about number 10? Did we convert to an improper fraction? Yes. How about number 11? We have a couple of different ways of solving number 11 here, right? What do you think is smarter? Is it smarter just to um, simply convert to a mix or an improper fraction, or should we reduce first? reduce first? So this one shows us reducing first. So you can notice 4 6 is now 2 thirds, right? Just makes your life a little bit easier. And then for number 12, look at what happened on number 12. When we reduced early, we're dealing with smaller numbers like 361 and 12. When we didn't reduce until the end, we're dealing with 1,083 divided by 36. The moral of the story is we should always reduce. Say again. Reduce first or reduce early, right? 